We're still going around here, Auto Mechanica 2025, and we've just come on the Power Pro stand. I've bought one of these Power Pro testers off my local Snap On dealer, and uh, the instructions were a wee bit unclear, so <laughs> a little yeah, bit. They're going to give us a wee run through now of the Power Pro. The, this is the Power Pro PP Draw or Draw Monitor, and it's so you can easily, quickly measure any parasitic drain on the vehicle. Um, it's basically a big 12 volt rechargeable battery in this box. You connect to the car's OBD2 port. And then when you first connect, you should see a battery voltage type of number. That means I do have a good connection to the battery. There's no blown fuse or anything. Then I'll select smart output. Now the tool is trying to provide power. The next thing I have to do, and this is usually the part that's unclear, I have to disconnect the car's battery, which I have it on this switch here. Now all the power to the vehicle is coming from this battery. And you can see as I turn things on and off, it shows my total drain. Right, so the vehicle's now been powered off this. Correct. So that's how I can tell the drain. All the electrical power to the vehicle is coming out of this now. Because that was what I was going to clear about, because I was wondering, how can this thing tell the draw on the battery? Draw this, this is the battery. <laughs> and would that work with every vehicle or only certain? I would say about 98% at this time. There are some very new late model vehicles, um, 23 and 24 Hondas that I've run into, where the OBD2 fuse is in a module itself. Yes. So if I try to backfeed it, it activates that module and causes its own drain. I get you. No, you don't necessarily, there are accessories you can buy. We may be adding them to our catalog, but I can convert this 16 pin to battery clamps or cigarette lighter or whatever I need. As long as I'm supplying power to the vehicle from this, then that measurement will be accurate.